Introduction The grocer delivers the monthly provisions and hands over a bill of 248 rupees to Sainar's mother. Sainar's mother totals the bill quickly and pays 300 rupees to the grocer. The grocer returns 52 rupees immediately. Sainar wonders how adults add and subtract large numbers so fast. In this lesson, you will add to learn and subtract two and three digit numbers. Addition of one digit numbers. Let us begin with the addition of single digit numbers. 5 plus 7 is equal to 12. 5 plus 6 plus 4 is equal to 15. Meeta has seven chocolates. She buys seven more. How many chocolates does she have in all? Seven plus seven is equal to fourteen. Meeta has fourteen chocolates. Madhav has eight shirts. His uncle gifts him two more. How many shirts does he have in all? 8 plus 2 is equal to 10. Madhav has 10 shirts. Addition of two digit numbers with and without regrouping. All the numbers from 10 to 99 are called two digit numbers. Let us now add two digit numbers. In order to add two two digit numbers, we first add the digits at the ones place and then the digits at the tens place. Let us add 14 and 23 to understand addition of two digit numbers better. The digit at the ones place are 4 and 3. 4 plus 3 is equal to 7. The digits at the tens place are 1 and 2. 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. Therefore, 14 plus 23 is equal to 37. We can add two two-digit numbers through regrouping. Let us see how. What is 16 plus 22? 16 can be written as 10 plus 6. 22 can be written as 20 plus 2. 6 plus 2 is equal to 8. 10 plus 20 is equal to 30. 30 plus 8 is equal to 38. Therefore, 16 plus 22 is equal to 38. Addition of two digit numbers with carrying. Another technique of adding two two-digit numbers is through carrying. Let us understand it with an example. What is 29 plus 44? The digits at the ones place are 9 and 4. 9 plus 4 is equal to 13. Write 3 at the ones place and carry over 1 to the tens place. The digits at the tens place are 1, 2 and 4. 1 plus 2 plus 4 is equal to 7. Therefore, 29 plus 44 is equal to 73. Addition of 3 digit numbers. The numbers from 100 to 999 are called three digit numbers in order to add two three digit numbers we first add the digits at the ones place then the digits at the tens place and finally the digits at the hundreds place let us add 143 and 254 to understand addition of three digit numbers better the digits at the ones place are 3 and 4 3 plus 4 is equal to 7. 
The digits at the tens place are 4 and 5. 4 plus 5 is equal to 9. The digits at the hundreds place are 1 and 2. 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. Therefore, 143 plus 254 is equal to 397. Let us now learn to add two three-digit numbers with carrying. What is 423 plus 287? The digits at the ones place are 3 and 7. 3 plus 7 is equal to 10. Write 0 at the ones place and carry over 1 to the tens place. The digits at the tens place are 1, 2 and 8. 1 plus 2 plus 8 is equal to 11. Write 1 at the tens place and carry over 1 to the hundreds place. The digits at the hundreds place are 1, 4 and 2. 1 plus 4 plus 2 is equal to 7. Therefore, 423 plus 287 is equal to 710. Subtraction of one-digit numbers. Let us move on to subtraction. We begin with subtraction of one-digit numbers. Rajat is hungry. His mother gives him four chapatis. He eats three. How many chapatis are left? Four minus three is equal to one. One chapati is left. Priya's mother bought her 12 mathematics notebooks. She has used up 7. How many notebooks are left? 12 minus 7 is equal to 5. 5 notebooks are left. Subtraction of 2 digit numbers with and without regrouping. Let us now learn to perform subtraction operation on two-digit numbers. What is 25 minus 12? First, we subtract the digit at the ones place. 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. Next, we subtract the digit at the tens place. 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. Therefore, 25 minus 12 is equal to 13. What is 34 minus 9? 34 has 3 tens and 4 ones. We want to remove 9 ones. As 9 ones cannot be removed from 4 ones, we regroup 1 tens as 10 ones. Now we have two tens and fourteen ones. We remove nine ones from fourteen ones. We are left with five ones and two tens. Therefore, thirty-four minus nine is equal to twenty-five. What is fifty-four minus eighteen? Fifty-four has five tens and four ones. We want to remove eight ones. We regroup one tens as ten ones. Now we have fourteen ones and four tens. We remove eight ones from fourteen ones. We are left with six ones. We remove one tens from four tens. We are left with three tens. Therefore, fifty four minus eighteen is equal to thirty six. Subtraction of two-digit numbers with and without borrowing. Let us now subtract two-digit numbers using the technique of borrowing. What is 65 minus 27? Since 5 is less than 7, it borrows 1 from the number at the tens place to make itself 15 
which is larger than 7. 15 minus 7 is equal to 8. Since the 6 at tens place length 1 to the 5 at ones place, it becomes 5. 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. 65 minus 27 is equal to 38. Anuj's mother gave him 50 rupees. He spent 36 rupees at the Christmas carnival. How much is he left with? We subtract 36 from 50 to find the answer. 0 is less than 6. It borrows 1 from 5 and becomes 10. 10 minus 6 is equal to 4. 5 has lent 1. So it becomes 4. 4 minus 3 is equal to 1. 50 minus 36 is equal to 14. Anuj has 14 rupees left with him. Subtraction of two three-digit numbers with and without borrowing. Let us now perform subtraction operation on three-digit numbers. What is 364 minus 241? 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. 6 minus 4 is equal to 2. 3 minus 2 is equal to 1. 364 minus 241 is equal to 123. What is 754 minus 227? 4 borrow from 5 and becomes 14. 14 minus 7 is equal to 7. 5 has lent 1. So it becomes 4. 4 minus 2 is equal to 2. 7 minus 2 is equal to 5. 754 minus 227 is equal to 527. Summary Let us summarize what we have learnt. We can add two and three digit numbers by regrouping and carrying over. We can subtract two and three digit numbers by regrouping and borrowing.